Welcome again guys and we are talking about biology problems and we have started talking about uh, you know genetic code problems and they are very easy use simple probability formulas now here comes another genetic problem genetic code problem for you which also implies the same formula that we talked previously that if a genetic code is tetraplet then what is the possible number of codons which code for 20 types of amino acids now you know in normal case what do we know is a genetic code is a triplet i mean triplet that means three bases are required to form a genetic codon and each of those codons will produce one amino acid so that is the normal rule three bases are called a codon and one codon produce one amino acid that is the normal situation now the question is if four bases are termed as or considered as codon right so in that case how many codons are required to code for 20 amino acids that is a question because you know if the genetic code is a tetraplet tetra means four so four bases will be there because we know for coding 20 amino acids from codon we require 64 codon generally right to produce that amino acid so how many codons will be there to produce a you know, code for 20 types of amino acids there now in all these type of questions the only thing you need to know is that the probability and the idea is that for a tetraplet for a tetraplet codon there will be four positions for producing that codon now for in each position there will be how many possibility of placing one particular base and the possibility you know one out of four because we are having four bases actually not this case four bases means a g t and c we are having these four bases there four alphabets in the genetic directory right so in that case in in, in this first position or second or third in any position of this tetraplate codon we are having for you know placing one out of four probability of placing any on of these bases there right so this is the idea now to construct this idea in the mathematical form what we can get is that simple as that so we place here is uh, the the number of bases that is present to the power number of basis to construct the codon here you know the number of bases 4 and we know number of bases means a g t and c this is 4 the number of bases to construct the codon and that is also tetraplet means 4 this one so we put 4 and then what we will get is you know in previous case what do you know in for general term, you know, number of bases we have four, and the bases that produce a codon is triplet, so it is it was three, so we get a 64, right? Same formula. Now in this case, the number of bases to construct the codon is there telling us as a tetraplet, we should put four there. So it will be four into four into four into four, it will give you uh, I mean 64 into 4. 256 so 256 will be the number of codons that should be required to construct 20 types of amino acid if the codon becomes tetraplet that is very very easy problem but this is the idea you need to clear in your mind